What to say when a friend confides she has a mental illness? When someone confides in you about a mental illness, the right response is often dot 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 no response at all. The first step to helping is just listening, without any interruptions or judgment, says Betsy Schwartz, MSW, Vice President of the National Council for Behavioral Health. She also works with mental health first aid. After that, learn what, and what not, to say. Right away. Never brush aside someone's revelation with suggestions, even if they're well-intentioned, such as just try to be happy or can you shake it off? Instead, acknowledge you've heard her. Respond with it seems like you've been having a hard time lately. Or thank you for sharing with me. It must have taken a lot of courage to speak up. Ask how you can support her and offer help, babysitting during therapy appointments, taking over laundry or grocery shopping, but don't automatically assume you know what she needs. Later on, check in on how she's doing, but don't make each conversation about her illness. Talking about everyday things, books, the news, your dating lives, shows that you see her as more than a diagnosis. Watch your words. Avoid using offensive slang like nuts, psycho, or insane in casual conversations. Work on reframing your thinking, and separating the person from the condition, by saying, for example, a person living with depression, not a depressed person. Learn as much as you can about her disorder. Taking a mental health first aid class. Find one at mentalhealthfirstaid.org, will teach you how to encourage people to seek professional help, and to identify and deal with a crisis situation, stat, stat.